Danny Segura for MMA Junkie here in New York City, standing next to Bellator champ champ Ryan Bader, who will be defending his light heavyweight belt against Vadim Nemkov. Uh, first of all, Ryan, this is your first fight back in light heavyweight since 2017. Um, is it sort of nice to return to the original weight class where you really made a name for yourself and, and really uh, that's how the fans got to know you, fighting at light heavyweight? Oh yeah, you know, I'm excited about it. My weight is good. I kind of did a little test run and got down to like 213, so kind of reset my body. I was I was near 240 during camps so at heavyweight, and so uh, I realized too my body likes it. Yeah. My joints feel good. I feel fast, and so uh, coming is in down to this fight in particular. We got a young guy yeah. that's a uh, uh, highly praised, you know, uh, Fedor protege, and you know, he beat three former champs in his last three fights. So I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, uh, we'll get to the Fedor stuff in a second, but that's something I wanted to ask you. He might not be the biggest name, but if you look at his record, mm -hmm. I mean, he's been killing it. Do you kind of like being in that position, or do you kind of see it maybe as a as a lose lose, or, or maybe a way to prove like, look, I can I can yeah. not only beat the b big names, but this young guy's coming up. I see a bunch of different different ways. Yeah, it, a lot of people don't know him, right? Yeah. So you lose to a guy like that, and they're like, who the hell was that guy? You know, but they don't realize how good he really is. Beat three former champions, last three fights, and all that. Um, but at the same time, I'm kind of I'm interested in this fight, and, and I'm amped for it because I've been fighting the top guys, yeah. you know, guys that everybody knows, and and um, you know the hardcore MMA fans know this dude and know he's like the next big thing. And so for me to go out there and prove and put a stamp on it, like, hey, I'm still here. I might be here for a little while. So you can have your time, but my time's right now. Yeah. Um, he obviously talked about how uh, you know he wants to get a little bit of revenge for, uh, because you knocked out yeah. Fader. Obviously, how do you how do you feel about that? Uh, do you think uh, you know that's a that's a good feel going into this fight for yeah, him? Yeah, I don't really care. I mean, you got to fight your own fight, right? Yeah. You got to do it for you. Um, I have zero dogs in that fight, right? Yeah. I did my thing with Vador, and it is what it is. I know he's his coach and 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 whatnot. Um, but for me, it doesn't matter. I'm going to go out to be you. Yeah, I already beat Fedor. Um, you know, you can't bring him in the cage either, you know, so worry about yourself and let's go. Now, ideally, moving forward, would you like to alternate between light heavyweight and heavyweight and do this whole champ champ thing? Um, or, you know, are you kind of, how, how, how are you so, planning on moving forward? Yeah, right now, go out and win this fight, yeah. right? Um, go out and win this fight. I kind of want to stay down for one more uh, light, okay. light heavyweight because yeah. I was gone for a while, right, mm -hmm. doing the heavyweight Grand Prix and then uh, Bellator wanted me to defend the heavyweight title and I did. And so I feel like I owe it kind of as a light heavyweight division to stay down there for a couple fights and then go back up. So that's what I'm thinking. We all got a mesh, obviously, with Bellator and Scott and all them. So um, we'll see, see on that. Yeah. Now, at heavyweight, you looked, you've looked you looked great from dominant performances going to distance to quick knockouts. Mm -hmm. Would you say you're a better fighter at heavyweight, or would you say maybe the competition's a little less? Why, why do you think you've looked so good at, at heavyweight specifically? I've always had power, you know, and my speed. I think uh, it just translates really well over to uh, I can't be pushed around by these heavyweights, yeah. right? And I have the speed on them and the cardio. Mm -hmm. You know, I have cardio uh, that, that puts out, you know, light heavyweights that get tired and, and basically quit, you know. So to bring that to heavyweight, and like I said, power is already there and it's the speed. I, you know, I, I wasn't hit in this whole Grand Prix tournament. I wasn't hit with Congo, you know, at heavyweight. So it's been nice not getting punched in the face yeah. for a couple of years, you know. So, <laughs> um, you know, I know I have different different style on my hands coming down to light heavyweight, and I've. Uh, I brought people in. I've worked with a glory kickboxer that's a couple weights underneath me, so I can feel that speed again and get ready and and uh, even amp it up more. Now at the, here at the press conference, you mentioned there was a, a bit of a of an incident with Rampage after your fight with Che Congo. We obviously know their relationship; they're buddies. Um, he said something to your sister. Uh, what happened there in in that situation? I, yeah, I had no idea. I was coming out of the cage, and you get the story, you know, at, at the end, right? I was kind of pissed. And at that time, I'm like, yeah, maybe I did accidentally poke him in the eye. Who knows? And uh, get all these videos sent to me that says, hey, no way. He was in the nose, this and that. So I was like, mother, you know, I was like, that, that, that's how he wants to go out. And then, you know, I don't, look, I, I like Rampage, you know, um, but I don't know if he was drunk or whatnot, came around, and then he was in the cage coming after me. So I'm going to defend myself. And, you know, he's talking a little bit to my family while there, too, and it just, was it cool? So uh, we had our little thing, and it is what it is. Happens in MMA. Yeah. And I get it. He's backing his boy. You know, I'd back my boy too. But um, the thing is, it all stems from that from that alleged eye poke that really never happened, and they really never uh, brought any piece of evidence forth that showed it in his eye. Yeah.
Now, I don't know if you're aware of this, but uh, three years ago in March, that's when you signed, uh, it was announced that you yeah. were going to sign with Bellator. Um, I guess looking back at, at that decision, um, how has this th three years been? And um, can you kind of reflect on your Bellator run? Because you've became champ champ and you've gotten uh, wins over solid yeah. names, Fedor, et cetera. You know? Well, yeah, I, I, had, I have known nothing else prior to that, right? And so I, I took a leap of faith. And I was like, you know what? I like what they're saying. I like, I like the people. And let's see what happens, you know. And then I was supposed to fight King Mo, which is a regular fight. And then I got the opportunity when he got hurt um, to, to fight for the title, you know. And so um, won the title in Madison Square Garden. And then ever since then, I mean, it's been a wild ride. It's been fun. I've loved the organization. Um, they take really good care of me. Um, I like the freedom. I go up to uh, heavyweight. I can fight in Japan. You know, they're always kind of being innovative in that as aspect. So. I'm having a great time. I think it was one of the best uh, career decisions I've made. All right, Ryan. Well, appreciate the time. Best of oh, luck in your you. title defense. Appreciate it. Thank you.